Okay, for the B side catalyst, as of right now, this container is this the pressure pot is full of B side catalyst slash hardener. Since it's on the scale, the scale will tell you how much material by weight you have left. When that scale reaches zero or close to zero, it's important that you go ahead and shut operations down. Make sure you depressurize the system. Close the ball valve at the very bottom of the pressure pot where the blue moisture sensitive hose is located. There's a ball valve that comes underneath there. After doing that, you stop the flow of the catalyst going into the machine and that way you can conduct maintenance on it. After doing so, you want to go ahead and shut the ball valve here, which actually comes from the nitrogen tank over there. This plate right here, you're just getting about 20 psi worth of nitrogen going on, going into the pressure pot. So what you do is you go ahead and close the ball valve here. That way you get no nitrogen going into the unit. Slowly relieve any nitrogen that's already in the tank from over here on this side. Like so. And once you get all nitrogen out of the system, go ahead and go recool the ball valve. Open up every tab all the way around the entire pressure pot. Lift the lid off the pressure pot. Refill the pressure pot to the desired level or to the desired weight. Put the lid back on the pressure pot. Tightly close every single tab on the lid as well. By tightly, I mean wrench tight, not not gorilla tight. I guess would be the term, but just uh, tight enough to where you you don't notice anything leaking or any air leaks at the bottom. Remember, this is only 20 psi inbound nitrogen. Once you have the nitrogen, once you have the lid back on there, what you want to do is go ahead and open up this valve one more time to reintroduce nitrogen into the system. But at the same time, you want to evacuate any air that was left in there by opening up the valve once more. You do that for about 10 to 15 seconds. Once that's completed, you can go ahead and open up the ball valve at the very bottom of the pressure tank. And there should be no interruption of the flow of catalyst from this pressure tank to the B-side pump on the 2KE. Once you've conducted the bleed procedure once, it's recommended that you do it a total of three times, 10 to 15 seconds each. You can wait about a minute in between each one. That way you know that the nitrogen blanket actually settles on the material itself. So once again, 10 to 15 seconds. Not, not fully open, but enough to get the, uh, to get the air out of the uh, pressure tank.